back that. Hercules is away. Roger that. And back deck, Hercules is past the transom. Do that, turn in and burn in for the middle. And back deck, we have umbilical fully out. Roger. There's an audio slate for dive hotel 1968 UTC time is 013117. Mark. Back deck, Atalanta's in the water. Roger that, Hercules is dive, dive, dive. Bridge, bridge, back deck, back deck is secured. Okay, Roger, thank you.
Put this off comms for a second. Hey Ed, I'm gonna cycle through some cameras chasing a ghost. Danny, radio check. One, two. I can't hear you. Try again. Testing one, two. Can you hear me? Uh, barely. Let me turn this up a little. Check, check. Check one, two. Me? Yeah, I hear you. I can hear you now. Definitely help if I wasn't deaf. Yeah, me too. Mm, it's not those cameras. Do I need to do anything with uh, Argus yet? No, you can uh, look down so they can do the video. Okay. I tilt down the camera. And back deck, I'll stop at 75 meters, control being sent. Roger. Seven five meters, Roger. Um, hold on there for a minute, Danny. Yep, no problem. Um, do you want me to enable the uh, craft? Hold on. Dogs? Hold on. Yep. What am I doing wrong? Oh, that's what. Okay, sorry, I was freaking out there.
Okay, now you can enable the craft. Craft enabling now. Roger. Sorry, I got too many things going on. Dan, you want your dive salvo? Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Danny, you can start. Uh, so what we do with the winch, there's a bar around there, but for now, we'll just pay out uh, 20 meters a minute. Okay. There's a bar there, you can lock it, but yeah. Um, this while I'm messing around, can you just keep an eye on the delta there? I'm distracted here, yeah. chasing a ghost. Can you confirm we're um, not doing a video transect on, on descent? Good, yeah, so 77 meters, I don't know. I can confirm we are not doing one on descent. Great, thanks so much. I believe we, uh, dive plan says on ascent, if, yeah. So the ONC CTD is uh, ground vaulting. That would indicate why it ain't working. Um, Dan? Yes, sir. It says I'm going 70 meters a minute, and I'm not even... No, I'm not sure. That's your winch speed, right? Yeah, underneath there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha. Look okay. at your cameras. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was just like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what the whiskey tango fog trot? Okay. What's our target depth? I don't know. Deeper than we are now. But that is a good question. I believe it to be. 1285, a little birdie told me. When you go to your utilities page, hit clear and pop in one, two, eight, five, and then hit enter. I'll tell you how long it'll take us to get there. That's a long time. <coughs> That's because Herc's not moving. Hey Jake, can you go grab the red, red, red book? You got the red book. It's on the. Uh, sorry, I left it on the. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, over that. Here we go. Full speed ahead. So, uh, you can pull up the utility page too. And <clears throat> I've got it pinned now, so after a minute or so, the top vertical velocity will uh, kind of mellow, mellow out. And so you'll match that speed there. And so you manage that, keep that positive number, and um, the speed limit is 30 meters a minute. Okay. <coughs> so it'll take her a minute, you know, take a minute to get the whole mess going. While you're playing with that, can you hand me the manipulator? Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh no. Go around. <coughs> What's a delta uh, supposed to be? Like uh, single digits. In single green. digits, okay. So when I go faster, I'm closing the gap between us? Correct. 
Can you write in that book, Jake, that there is a hard ground fault on the ONC CTD? Keep an eye on the sonar there too, Danny. See I'm 50 meters away. And if you turn your nav screen on over there too, I should be all in line. You know, our heading's not coming around. How do I turn my nav screen on? <laughs> Little green button on the bottom. Which monitor is that? It's uh, left. So hit monitor left. Monitor left? Yeah, and then hit ROV now. Top middle. Okay, our delta depth is climbing. You gotta go faster, Matt. Way faster. Well, I was. have to peg it. 30 meters a minute. You can go 35 meters a minute for a minute. Catch up a little bit. Or I can stop. <coughs> Better than nothing. And that's too fast, Danny. Slow it down to thirty thirty five is I'm still not getting any connection on this monitor. Well, let's get the winch dialed in first, and looks yeah. like you're there. Oh, maybe that might have fixed it. Turning it on. Found the bomb. Quick watch, change the video. Out. Well, it goes negative. It means I'm not. I'm over. I'm passing him. Um. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it means. I finally got this thing stable.
Slow down for a minute, Danny. We don't want to get, we don't want to be negative. ROV, this is the back row, um, just, just tuning in. We had a request for centering the camera if possible, unless you're doing something with the arm right now and you need it looking there. We're not doing a formal water transect, but it's still useful for us to have lasers on and it's kind of a central zoomed in view, if that makes sense. But if you're doing something with the arm, then that's fine. Dirk, do you think I should just throw this away now, Dirk? Pardon? This is a good thing to throw away. Um, what is this? Hold your deep. Uh, if it doesn't have notes, and I think this is just a spare dive. Yeah, you can recycle or throw. Away. Thank you. I was like. So I gotta slow down, man.
understand you. Yeah, I'm all right. I, I, I'm not bothered by the Delta. I can still see a dot out there. Is that what you're on about? No, I can just make sure we're at 21 meters apart, so. What's that? A Delta's in red, right. so. Um, hey, Dan, can you hear me on the comms? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, just wondering, is there something up with the arm, or is there a reason why we can't center the camera? I'm uh, troubleshooting that jittering that you're seeing with the arm. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, it's a slow process. I'm looking at cryptic numbers here and the uh, hundreds and thousands and yeah, no issues. Just it's, uh, going on. we had a look at it on deck, but didn't get a chance to really get into it too much. And uh, we don't have that range of motion that I was running it through while we're on deck. I said it'll hit the deck. Okay, no, understood. You're getting data from uh, I mean, you're recording Atlanta, right? Yeah, that's true. It's just it's bouncy, but it's fine. Jacob, you want to zoom in just a hair on the video to get rid of the... Roger that. Um, and then play with the iris a bit so you can see all the little creatures that go by. Okay, back row, that's the camera centered up. So. Jake, you can hang out or you can uh, run away and come back in an hour or two. And I know it looks like, oh yeah, I need to write something down in the red book. It looks like to me like it's that jitter, jitteriness is on all the functions, which would indicate that it's the uh did you do that it's the uh plus minus ten but that seems stable but the twelve volts is dancing around a little bit could it have to do with the hydraulics uh bleeding off no so I full thrust that's why I came dead stick there for a minute so we had full you know full beans on the hpu and then I tested it in different positions, like with the shoulder down, the elbow out, the yaw to the right, to the left, pitch up and down, wrist. It looks to me like there's some noise on the uh, common uh, power supply that gives a reference to all the potentiometers in the manipulator. So it's something we can... Uh, that ground fault? <laughs> No, it doesn't seem to be ground faulting. I no, but I mean, that could be causing a uh, no. noise in the negative side. I don't, you know, we they already turned off the arm and did this, so, and I verified on deck there was no, I don't know where that ground fault's coming from. I know there's, so there's several devices with low resistance and they add up to get it down in that less than 500 range. But that one is, uh, I don't know, maybe it is the arm. Yeah, so there's some something going on there, because that changed a little bit, right? So we yeah. have a whole bunch of devices that are adding up to 
a low number here. I know the arms one, I know the sonars one, the beacons one, the CTD, it's a hard ground fault, the uh, um, um, one of these, I, uh, see. The oil reservoir, one of these guys is, but those are not really spares, they're, uh, I think one of them is like the motor temperature or something. Yeah, we are, uh, minutes from the bottom so we're gonna do this whale fall I wanna do the video thing but I might get bored soon after <laughs> and it would probably be a good time for yeah I'm gonna fly around and look at the whale fall So yeah, the arm's good. It's not ground faulting. I don't know why it's noisy.
Dan, when do you want me to start slowing down? Sir? When do you want me to start slowing down?
Hey, we appear to have altitude. 100 meters off the deck. Okay, so should I start slowing down? Um, usually when we have altitude, I take that stick out of there. It's a good idea. Um, I'll set this up on the gouges. So when we get to depth, we're going to want to record those numbers. You can wing it and, re and record them now, or you, know, you can look at them and say, yeah, they're good. But we'll want a, a real number there, not just, yeah, yeah gauges I'll, are good. I'll record them when I uh, no longer have to hold the stick. Roger, I can hold the stick if you want to record them. You want to hold the stick? Well, you'll have time, because we'll be doing a, um, usually when we do that, when uh, I get the arm out and do a, um, weight balance to the camera, so we'll get a good low altitude weight balance. And uh, I need to fly away before I get tangled up here. Let me know as soon as Come you get weight balance. Come on, stop here for a second. I'll stop on the winch. Right it. So, I'm going to stretch you out here and we'll zero the, uh, I'm just going to zero my tether wraps now because I know where I am. Hope I know where I am. too long without looking at the nav screen. One of you guys should have caught that. I should be good because I was under. I think I had auto heading on. I don't know. Um, while we're all stopped here, why don't you fire up your thrusters and spin around and look at Herc. Okay, so I click on auto heading? Or? Yep. Then uh, you can come whatever way you want. Come starboard. Yeah. Dan? What's that? I can't hear you. Do you want me to rotate starboard? Yep, yep. Come around on the same heading as hurt. Because we got the CTD, but we're pretty good. Minus five meters a minute with the CTD. Okay, I can keep coming down 20 meters a minute. Okay, I'm locked in at 133 degrees. Roger. It's gonna uh, tilt what? my camera down a little more. All right, I got it. That thing will run away on you. Oh, you're tilting. No, you need to tilt up. I'll tilt up. Yeah, I got it. Okay, that's good. If it runs away on you, you got to be ready to hit the tilt off right here. Gotcha. Right under cameras, you power that thing off. Okay, um, coming down uh, 20 meters a minute. Yeah, come down a little faster. I'm pulling you around now. It'll come back around. So. Can you make those 50, the little boxes? Yeah, perfect, thank you. Come down a little faster now. Okay. Just watch the tether there, make sure it doesn't smack you.
second. It looks like Hercules is uh, above me. What's that? Sounds good. Hercules. You can see some of the returns starting there in the uh, park zone. Hey, Dan. Uh, this is May on the chart table. Are Slow you down a little bit there, Danny. Until they start to get above me, let me get back down below you there. Twenty meters off. Um, come on, stop there. I'll stop on the winch. I'll see each other there. What's going on? Oh, I'm pulling you around. Sorry. Okay, you can keep coming down. I see what's happening. Coming down a little more. Round it. Ten meters. Okay, I want you uh you're forty meters off the deck. You should come down to thirty five altitude there. Okay, looks like we're starting to get some returns on our sonar. We are. Of course, I'm facing downhill. Perfect. Top of that. Well, I guess I'll stop at 35 meters. Around it. Uh, at Atlanta. Yep, so you all stop on the winch there. You're good. Gauges are all good, are they? Tell me what you want to me. Right. Where do I write these? Um, in the in the, On the electronic log. log. Yeah, we're done with that. Should we book? Okay, reservoir PSI. Two twenty nine. Mm, watch out for that porch. <coughs> Lasers. You can reset your DVL, yeah. Yeah, you can reset the DVL. Okay. 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 Res PSI. I don't know how to read that. That looks like. You can uh, there, there do your thing over there, Jacob. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Dan. What? Um, I can't read that, uh, res PSI. Res PSI. Res is, uh, five. Five? Hundred. Motor? Motor is six. Six. Main is five? Yep. Yeah. Uh, call it four. Four. High voltage comp. What's that? A, a high voltage comp. That's a uh, 10? What's that? Well, I'm looking at the other high voltage cra uh, comp, craft comp. ROV, camera's about to go black intentionally for the black balance. Around here. Uh, term is 5, res is 5, main is 5, what is that? 3.5, motor is. Mm, five and a half. Something I forget what those numbers are. Gages are good. Make up some numbers. <laughs> you can zoom in on them, Danny. Okay. 
I know. I'm just saying, what's about which one's the high voltage comp? Uh, that's like term. Comp, that's, sorry. Oh, that's term. Okay. Yeah. So term is you said. All right, white balance complete. Pulling wide. Roger. Oh, I can turn it. Uh, zoom in on him. Look at that. Can I make up numbers or did I like? Four, five, six. And craft comp. Is that even on here? No, you gotta hit uh, preset something. Perk, when you have a chance, could you turn the sextant camera on? Sextant camera is on. Okay. We're not seeing. I'm not okay. seeing it. Okay. When you guys are all set up, do you want a ship move in that direction? There. Mm -mm. Yeah. Five. Uh, temperature, humidity, do I do all these or? Yep. Mm -hmm. or at least once. Mm -hmm. Where do I find those? Do we uh, see the target on the corner? On the Argus and Adelante page. Yeah. Pretty quiet. Mm hmm. Hey, Dan, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, okay. You ready for a move, Dan? Sure. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters, one four zero, please? Um. Thank you. Put that back on them. Um, hit two there. I'll go to um. Hit. Uh, maybe I can. I'll do it here. Can you pull up a KVM here? Can I see your keyboard for a minute? Uh, yeah. Let's see what PC do I want. Oh, four. That's not frustrating. PC2. You know how to do this? I'll just walk you through. This? Hit this little guy here. Yeah. And go to two. Uh, PC to video two. And then find the still cam in there. That's the view. That's the baby. Okay. Then you X that one, yeah. Then X that one. Okay. They changed this now, but it's Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Ed. <laughs> Just when we got good at it. <laughs> um, I'm going to do one more thing now. Nine. So I'm gonna go to PIP nine, and I'm gonna select her brow. There. Are you happy over there, Danny? You got uh, your little mini gauges right under your other gauges. Yep. That is the famous digital spills camera.
They've got this thing completely freaking wrecked. Dan. No. Nope. Res percentage. Seventy-six. Gotcha. Do you find all the other numbers? I think so. And depth of meters is going to be right here, which. Half of those. The reason you record half of those is just so you can figure out where the numbers are and what they mean, that or at least figure out where they are. Okay. Now, what's two x comp and temp and? I'm going to. What well, is Atlanta? Okay. I'm going to drop your uh, delta down here a bit. Well, for for sampling, yes, that's that's a good the lowest. But for the photogrammetry, we want to be a bit between two and four, actually. Tension so is that going to be this number here? Correct. Weather check. What's that? Weather check. 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 <laughs> okay, you can put. Overcast, <laughs> foggy, cloudy with a chance of uh, meatballs. Yeah. Um, two x comp percentage. Hmm. Two x comp percentage. Is that? Yeah. I call them. I don't know. Make some number up. What do you call them? I don't know what I'm looking at. The white thing that's sticking out. So, so when like they fold, they're about three quarter. No, oh, when they oh, fold, so it's full. the line's three quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna say sixty percent. Sure. Okay. So, I think everybody can tell which way the current is going. It's current going. The rat tail has his uh, nose into the breeze, I would say. So current seems to be fairly brisk towards the east. Okay. Which is going to uh, affect our photogrammetry. Do you have hydraulics off on the, on the craft? I Is do, we're not going to use it for a while. Okay, thought we were going to place the uh, markers. Oh yeah, we are going to place the markers. You can turn it back on and uh, get ready to rock and roll then. Yeah, sorry, I forgot all about the markers. Okay. Are we doing nispins before markers? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're going to approach the probably the skull uh, and go as low as as possible, probably one and a half meter is good now that we are not steering any sediments. And collect three, and trigger three Niskin bottles. So do you want to be uh, downwind of the whale fall to trigger the Niskins? Yes. 
Yeah, so I'm going to let the uh, current push me to the east here for a ways, and then we'll uh, approach the target from the, to the west. Chasing us late. <laughs> we never did get a speed over ground, did we? Those C pens make a pretty good windsock, too. Yeah. So, as you guys in the back row can see, I don't know who's operating the DSC back there? DSC. The digital stills? Yeah. He know. hasn't set up yet. The uh, digital stills camera? I see yeah, someone. Yeah, they're still in the yeah, process of setting it up. I see someone that, poking around in that's there. That's me, I'm poking around. You're poking around? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hand it over to the science row in just a second. But right, it seems it. to be working fine. But we have it up here, so. We can, you know, if you see something you really want a picture of, let us know, and uh, you'll get a better picture, obviously, if the ROV is not moving. Yep. So, kind of yep. frame up the shop, and try and get it still, and Definitely. get some good imagery there. Yeah. How yeah. do you feel about that, Fabio? Yeah, we'll get when we get to the the zoom in portion of the photogrammetry. Yeah, we'll. We'll ask for some nice shots. Are you going to put it on a time lapse or are you going to take pictures manually? N no time lapse. Roger. Do the old fashioned way and click the button. Oh, you mean the intervalometer thing? Intervalometer? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. There's our video producer says intervalometer. for you, Jonathan, if you're listening. Oh, do you want some space? I can move. setting when I get that thing dialed. <laughs> that sea star is huge. Went off screen to the right. No, I missed it. Sorry. Am I supposed to keep Argus um, and Elena in the same heading as... Uh, no. No? It's good? Just keep it looking at her. Um, I drifted way off to the east there in the current, so I want to come upstream and approach the uh, whale fall uh, on this side because they want to do some niskins. Gotcha.
Could be it. There? I don't know. Could be a rock. Fabio, which way is the uh, whale fall oriented? Is it east, west, yeah. north, south? Um, Dirk, can you pull up that map? What's that? The location, the precise location you had in, in your screen. Do you yeah, but is, is the, are the bones laid out north, south, or east, west? Yes, they are more east, west. If I remember, mm -hmm. our, from our last. Hmm. Maybe it is that target in your sonar? Let me reset uh, your DVL. I probably wouldn't have seen it if, uh, if they're uh, east-west. It would have been, it would have been like a little row of, you know. dark with a flashlight trying to find my car. Mm. <laughs> big old sea star again. Oh, 2009 was the first found by Ambari folks. Then we came, came here in 2012 and then three years ago. targets in the sonar? Um, I did have a target, but I was facing uh, east, so, you know, they, well, there's maybe a target out there. It wouldn't have, uh, you know, they all would have been in a row, so I would see, like, one target. So I was asking. They should be little, you know, if we're looking north or south, they should... Uh, should be evident. I could poke around down the way for a while. It's maybe a target there. Not very oh. big. The waves is about 12 meters. The whole skeleton, the, the head is probably about. This is scaled right here. So that's probably four, four meters. All the, yeah, yeah. The skull with the with the jawbones about five, four, four meters. That looks promising, anyways. In the sonar. Follow all the snails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the gastropods are making the, their tower, their egg towers. Pardon? I think this is uh, some gastropods here, and some of them are laying eggs in this kind of tower. That's uh, the same we saw what? in Barclay Hydrates. There's something. Oh, there you go. I see. That's the... Looks promising. That's... Oh my god, there's... Someone's ski? 
Yeah, we see that the worms. There you go. Let's see over there. Found barb. Or whatever that they call the. the whip. We follow the barb. Bar, they call it Barbara or something. And Barry folks. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Okay, so cool. I yeah. guess so that as a start we could be as close as possible to the jawbones slash skull. Uh, you wanted to do a downstream niskin though first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's for the, the niskin. Let me uh, just. I'm gonna come up here off the seabed a little and just see if we can get an overview. Well, I'll have to talk to Fabio when he's got a second here. Are we gonna take the stills? Um, are the is the RV team gonna take it, or do you want me to get um, freshened up on this? If if you can take it, better I think. But this is for the last part where we wanted to zoom in on specific. Okay, I'm can I can try. Okay. It's in the dive plan. All right. Whatever you. Okay. Yeah. So I'll study up on this. If you want to focus on this yeah, yeah. dive. Which way is the rest of it, Fabio? Sorry, Dad. Which way is the rest of it? Well, left, forward, forward, right. yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. it's missing uh, the uh, the ribs. Okay. The oh yeah, I see bones. it. Oh, then, yeah, the one we picked up. Okay, so it seems to be oriented uh, northeast, southwest. Northeast, southwest. Roger. So I'm gonna come around some directly. Um, Looking to the west, so we're down current, and we'll take on this gun. You all right with that? Yeah, side view. Yeah, yeah. Actually, those are on the other side. If I exactly. So um, when are we? We're twenty meters away right now, right? Right. Hey, Fabio, how long is this thing? 12, 12 and a half meters. 12 and a half meters. So I should have enough tether to do the whole thing from here, yeah? We're right in the picture, right in the center. Yeah, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go away from... Why don't you move uh, 10 meters south, Lynette, and give us a little more. We can always uh, pick Atlanta up. Bridge now. Can we move one zero meters south, please? Thank you.
Fabio, are you ready for a Niskin? Yeah, three. How, how high are we? We are 1.3 meters. Okay. You happy with that? Quick watch change on video, couple of seconds. How, how close do you, you think we could get without disturbing this? I can get uh, a lot closer. A lot closer? Yeah. Okay. Give me your best. Roger that. Video's on comms. You want to bring the nip? Go ahead, David. Draw into the picture there a little. Mm -hmm. so. Nip coming out. I'm just bring yes, it into the picture course. a little. That's good. Yep. So you know where it is. Great. Dirk's all trained up on the digital steels camera. A big shout to Andrew Terber, my colleague at Oregon State University, who made it possible. This new Thanks camera Andrew. on work. Their uh, new vessel just floated on like May 19th. Um, I'm assuming you don't want me to land, you just want to hover here. There's uh, one meter and we're kind of... You know, I think it, I can that's the closest possible, that's good. I can, uh, is that close enough or you want closer? No, that's close enough. Yeah, I right. I'm going to have to uh, look away here, so <coughs> if I had a camera the whole time. Okay, bring that arm in, Danny. You can take, take yeah, long them to our Yeah, I could, I mean, we don't lose anything by taking a bunch, right? Especially when the ROV is very still. I can brighten up for you, Dan, if you want. Oh, there you go. How's that? Pen tilt light. My rack back. Yeah. Okay. Can we see the can result? I Am up? I racked back? Yes, you are. Dan, can you uh, tilt up so I can grab number one? Sure. It does not appeal to your OCD yeah. to grab six. How many do you want, Fabio? We got it. Uh, Dan, I have no jaws. Is your jaw lock on? Your jaw locks on. slow. What's the uh, grip force? Nine? <coughs> I did notice it was a little slow. It's like I hold it down and it's just like... Yeah, it's strange. That's pretty good. Um. Let's take it. We'll play with it later. The setting on that? No, just take it. You can take it with that. Okay. Try less on this one. Like 3,000. That's one. You want three, Fabio? Two? Yeah, three here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two. That's a whole lot of whale water. <laughs> the 
All right, did you get three there? We did. Okay. Data, this is Nav. What's your naming convention for that? I'm gonna shut off the hydraulics to the arm. Did right. we trigger the three, the three balls? Maybe we can move them to Sorry, the dash. dropping the markers. Okay, so where do you want the first NSK. marker? I don't need hydraulics. Um, right there, at the close to the jawbone. Right zero zero uh, let me see that tank for a minute, Danny. Okay. Okay, so I have H one nine six eight dash N S K dash zero zero one. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Can you keep an eye on the system, then? Yep. Angle. I mean, yeah, go, sorry, give us a minute here. Yeah, yeah, they should be, yeah, the same. Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, I well, have Gripper's not giving a full signal four, eight, there. decimal, Might have six, to change seven, the master five. Element. Four zero three five eight north, and I have. Can you function with it? Minus we'll take a look. one I just two don't six. Know if it's grabbing decimal hard enough. eight four zero zero three zero five Get zero. Down. Let me know when you're ready for a new. And uh, what are you? You're science, right? Are you? Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I can't hear you too well. Um. Put the mic a little closer to your mouth. Let me know when you're ready for the next uh, instruction yeah. there. Yeah, so we're going to get one of the markers out? Yeah. Well, ideally, we want to set it, the first one, up the other side of the skull. The other if side? If we could orbit from the front and drop it at where we were seeing on the other side of the jawbone. Can do. So you actually can take a look at the of the skull from the other side. wonder if we should change the master out now. We'll try and get one out, see how what a grip we have on it. But I was thinking, should maybe power cycle the master? No, it's the uh, job. Signal on the jaw is not giving it enough signal. It's getting like half what it should. SPL test one, two, three, four. Check one, two, three, four. Test one. Uh, I think. I'm going to come up a little. So this is upstream, as you can see by the dust, you know. It's to a yeah. here. Yeah. I think an ideal spot for a marker would be in between, see that sea weep over there? You can use a telestrator if you want, Fabio. Yeah. I mean, if you need help with that. I'm going to come back around here in the. Yeah. So the reason it dusted it up there, Fabio, is yeah. um, this way we have the current directly uh, to the ROV. Yeah. So we have our, our face in the breeze, and we're looking uphill. Yeah. On the other side, okay. It's uh, we're looking downhill, and the current's coming down the hill, so the bottom of the ROV is really close and uh, disturbing it. So I'm not going to be able to 
I can turn 90 from here, but this is the best heading. Yeah. yeah, so maybe we can drop the first marker here. I mean, eventually we're gonna, yeah, from the other side, from the diverter bray, it will be easier and less prone well, to disturb us, I think. So I can come around and look, uh, you know, along, along with the hill, but I can't look downhill. Yeah, yeah. With the current behind us, it's just going to be so dusty. I, th I think actually this is a good spot to, for a first marker. Roger. But you saw in the diagram, we're going to eventually have to cross on the other side to drop. We're well, you're not going to. It's going to. I'll have to come up higher. Yeah, yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Descend if, I, yeah. if I'm down this low, the back of the ROV is actually touching. That's what disturbed the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the dust came from. Yeah. Yeah, the video we're gonna go higher. Yeah, higher is, should be no problem, but it, yeah. So uh, we're gonna pull out the uh, one of the markers. Y yes. Yep. Okay. Do you want me to have a grip on it before you open the bio bo uh, the box? No, I'll open it. See what happens. That should be plenty. I can get that. No. And I have to get the second one, correct? Because it's on top. Okay, mm. arm's no. going to swing around. I do. Mm. Let's see, hotel cameras. Uh, that one off, that one on. I can put one of those cameras in front of you if you want. Are you good with the little I think I got it. What's that? I think I got it. I think you got it. Hey, both Dan's, how are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Would you like a DVL reset while we're settled here, or, or is it critical sure. to not? No. Okay, we will do a quick critical. one. There we go. That, that's a good sight. I'm going to a half hour lecture on this whale fall tomorrow and I have so many questions. Can you uh, shoot it out, please? Roger. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there's one of those worms. Okay. Come back in with it. I'll leave it out there. Okay. Swing it around. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Watching it. Here, let me help you out. There we go. There we go. There she is. So you want to make sure when we're swinging around we're high enough, right? You know. <clears throat> see that, that first glass tripod in there? I yeah. see lots of gas. You put a on. circle on the screen where you want it. I'll stick oh, it yeah, right where you right, want it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, right here. You're assuming I know what a gastropod is. I have no <laughs> idea. This is a, a white thing. It's a snail. <laughs> Do you want it right there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See the shadow? If we can, you're probably not gonna make it in yeah. there. No. Wait. Make wait. Wait. More. 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 With the. Yeah. He circled the. Uh, I think you're gonna be yeah, a little probably there. Close. Otherwise, you're gonna go on top right, of the right there. Yeah. Ooh, that's okay. Is that what you want? Yeah, you can stick. Probably, can you stick the puck? Hold on, Danny. The hockey get puck in a little bit. So he gets. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Next victim. Nice. <laughs> Take. 
when you want the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna swing around and grab the next one. Sure. So about four meters towards the tail of the whale. All right. And on the other side of the, you're not gonna see any vertebrae here or not any ribs, but. Somebody stole one. Yeah, they go faster. <laughs> they don't have oil in them. Fabio, just a concern, uh, uh, just to check, I am not dropping targets where these panels are. Is that correct? Because yeah, uh, no, we won't get the resolution I think you want anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no need. So, I would say right at the empty space there, where there's no ribs or imaginary ribs, like, right but that. to the other side of the... That there are. I can watch. I can. Right where the lasers there? Draw. Below the lasers? Uh, Way up, up there. Up. Okay. Yeah. I'll put the lasers on it, Danny. Fabio, I'm, ass I'm assuming you don't want um, stills what? of this? Or do you? No, no. Okay. I'll, Just I'll, let me know. I'll let you know, yeah. Probe. Okay, Danny. One last second. Okay, there we go. Lasers on. The entire time. Yeah. See if you can stab it right between the lasers. and slow so you don't stir it up. Can we just turn the vehicle to see where we are rel relative to the vertebrae? Just yeah, to the left. I just want to make sure we are at the good distance there. I'm impressed actually you asked me to turn the vehicle not pan the camera. Uh, <laughs> I've done this before, haven't I? Yeah, so that was a good spot. I'll be, yeah, good spot. Okay, just circle where you want it. Okay. No, no, he already did. Roll there, yeah. Right there. Okay. Right there? Am I right? Right where I am? Uh, yeah. Right where the is. Okay, going in. Circled. Oh, look at that. Laser target. Good. Push the puck. Whatever. Okay, next. I need you to uh, go forward That's a little it. bit. I gotta push okay. it down. You need to tap. Tap in the puck. You wanna push it down more, do you? Yep. Well, oh, that's why the board is flat to the. Right, you pick the arm up, Danny. You wanna fly the arm into the dirt. You want me to get up there and get stable, then you can poke it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Nicely done. Okay, so now we go about. We're really neck close to that. Uh, four okay. meters down. Four meters down, right? So we did one here. Yeah. So I'll say go. Farther down towards the. Yeah. Let's say halfway now to the. Copy that. Halfway. Okay. About One, two, three, four. I see. Here I was. <laughs> Trying to count, but I can't count that high. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I got two of them. Give me a little shaky shake. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no! I see it, don't make a big deal out of it. Put that one out. 
Put this one down? No, deploy this one. Okay. This guy is not falling. Nope. <laughs> Okay, we do want this one. Right in front of us. Do you see where he circled? Right next to this guy, right here, right? I think so. Right. Yeah, that's probably an empty shell. Oh. Freeze fail. Yep. <laughs> Can't see the jaws, Danny. I like it when I can see the jaws. Not a perfectionist or anything. That's much better. Okay. Going straight in right here. Okay. One. Good job. We're gonna go fetch it. Hey, give me my trash can back. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> no worries. Okay, Our no trash can. Dale on the other side. We gotta go recover a thing real quick. Poof. Jeez, who stirred up the biz? There she is. Lower there. Let me know when you're ready. ready. Obviously, it has to be half a meter or so. We should be able to get it there. There you go. It's a much better angle. I'm trying to twist it so I can get a hold of it. You can grab the puck's end on. The craft has the power. Careful uh, lifting stuff up like that, you'll pull the ROV in. I think I landed there. Herc footprints. So Sorry let's about say. That. Not want that in the video. Say that again? Oh no, I put some. Footprints there. Yeah, I saw that all. <coughs> Tap. I think that was from Jason. No, that was me. I know. I shouldn't be doing this to find out. <coughs> uh, here somewhere? Help me out. Oh. On the other side. Yeah, that has to be on the other side. We are kind of crossing zigzag. Right here. If you noticed. Probably here. Okay, Danny. Uh, maybe come down east. 
easy here. So nice and slow okay. here. Tom is online. Actually, he's asking me a meter away. So can we go a meter away on the other side? Uh, Let's see. Past it. Down the other side. Not sure what that means. On the other side of the, the vertebrae line, the line, the up here somewhere. But can you go farther in a little bit to the right? Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, now parallel from the vertebrae line, a meter away. Right. Which is probably around. There. So close spot you want? Yeah, that's that's about a meter, I would say. I would say. Okay, Danny. Uh, Tom says it's good. You can give it a love tap and push me up. So maybe we now let it tap. Happy? Wait a little bit until this dust clears a bit so we can start from line one. Yeah, okay, it, I think you can park the is this a good time to um, have a quick question about what the plates are about? Sure. Or should we save that for a little bit later? We're waiting on visibility, that's a great time. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the plates are for the video to to help the assembly of the photogrammetry uh, video mosaic of the whale. And it gives the perfect, those numbers in between the markers that you saw on the plates are huh? centimeter to the center. The uh, so the video can calibrate the imagery and stitch them together perfectly. Awesome. So this photogrammetry is a, a photogrammetry. Grammetry, <laughs> thanks. Okay, is a that? pretty neat technique to be able to uh, assemble uh, kind of a 3D image, right? From still photos, a number of photos. Thing, uh, yeah, and look. we were doing this over several time intervals. Like we've done this in from 2012 and 2020, and this is another time time point. Awesome. And we compare how the skeleton has degraded over time. And do we, folks are asking what kind of whale it might be? I, I don't know, it could be a gray, it could be a hank bag. Uh, this was, when it was first described, they, they couldn't, yeah, we cannot tell from this. It could be a gray because we are in a migration route. Yeah, hey, and I've got yes. all the lights on there, it should be, uh, or humpback. So I can tilt down a little more. All That's right. It. From the size. Thanks for answering those questions. I'll let you get back to concentrating. <laughs> um, so what height are you going to want here? So you want to... See, we want to go like... Uh, we want to fly from the back, but... Yeah. Um, having, as I mentioned, in the field of view at all times, the vertebrae uh, right. Covering up to 25% of the field of view, but you can never lose track of the vertebra during the the flyover. Um, for me, so and this is a good 1.6 meters is uh, yeah. kind of the optimal Let for our camera, I think. Okay, but. I can't look down anymore, really, without... Maybe, um... Can you zoom in just a bit there, Ed? I think I have to be... Uh, just to set up? Yeah. Because I know we, we have to be That's full good. wide for the... Th for the survey. I... I don't know yeah. about that. Uh... Talk to... Fabio. Is that true, Fabio? Yeah, so we are now at 1.7, but we are zoomed in, right? We're we zoomed, zoomed in just in. a little bit, yeah. Can I, I'm just going to touch base here with Tom. Roger. You get a, uh, I can tilt down a little more if we zoom in a little, just to get rid of the porch. So if we zoom out, I have to tilt up a little. So yeah. it's kind of dark at the top of the, of the uh, image. 
So if I tilt down, I have the, the images overall better lit, I think. Uh, my own professional opinion, Ed might have different. Let me get Tom, Tom's feedback here. Because he's the photogrammetry guy, he's online with us. For a sec. Fabio, are you needing stills of this, or if you're still going to let me know when you need stuff? Yes, please. Kay. Whenever the ROV is more or less stationary, yeah, just grab a few. Okay, I've changed the settings a little bit. There's some instructions in here for the parameters, so hopefully that improves it. With a grain of salt, though, those instructions are set up, were written for um, intervalometer. Try the settings. Oh. Can. can I just play with the zoom a okay, little, so Dan? And so hang on one second. Yeah, I'll play with that. What yep. do I need? I just want to. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's oh. sticking out there? I can see how it's dark at the top. Okay, so. Tom says go, so I think he's good with that setup. But let me just confirm because. Roger. Um, yep. Yeah, the zoom. The zoom cannot change throughout the survey. So. Okay. We'll go hands. Actually, before we do that, we at our altitude, Dan? Uh, we are, yeah. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and nail my focus and then lock it down. Can I do that? And then I'm going to cover those little forklift tines here on the right. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the top of the picture when you... Zoom in there. It's there you go. Better, better lighting. And then I I'm gonna see if I can get a uh, fixed f stop. Okay, I think Tom is good with this setting, 1.6 meter, and I think we can. I'm at f uh, 7.0, and my hottest part of the screen is 90% white. Right markers over here to do monitor my overlap yeah dirt if you look at the, my digital still screen any recommendations here for settings oh yes yeah, stand by where are you at uh you're using the side computer yeah i'm using my left computer if that not if that means anything to you yes yeah, he's by. on a dsc still cam oh, is that a computer yeah page seven on the kvm Okay, Tom is happy with I the think. zoom and with uh, the starting point, and we mm. can, whenever, video. Yeah, stand by. And yeah, we're just going to... Page seven. Ed's going to give me some, some pointers, it's, uh, Fabio, for better stills.